Hi, my name is Tizzy. I just wanted to talk a little bit about my little corner of booktube. Um, I'm pretty new. Um, I just wanted to give a little history so that way people can kind of understand a little bit about who I am um, as a person. Um, so I have been reading since I was very, very young because I grew up not being allowed to watch TV. I did. We did have a TV in the house. We just weren't allowed to watch it. Um, so we ended up reading, me and my brother ended up reading a lot. Um, so I have a lot of books. Um, I have like, I had over 300 books in my bookshelf and, um, and most of them were either adult or they were children's because a young adult didn't actually exist back then. Um, I'm showing my age, but, um, it didn't actually exist back then. And so, you know, I read like a lot of Harry Potter or like Charlie Boone. Um, but I also read like the opposite where I would read like Nicholas Sparks or like Ju jo Julie Pico yes. Um, young adult started happening when I turned like 14 or 15 or something like that. Um, so I used to read like Meg Cabot, Sarah Destin is my favorite author. Um, so, and I love fantasy of course. Um, and um, what happened was that a few years ago, my house burned down and unfortunately all of my books are gone now so um so and i, I had stopped reading um, just because that wasn't like my goal not it wasn't as a priority you know um and i refused to get a kindle so um so then um it just stopped for a while um so i wanted to start again because i ended up get, making a goodreads in 2015 or something like that but that's when everything went to hell so um i i did see here is when i decided to start again and so i added all the books that i could remember from my bookshelf and all the all the other books i ended up reading and um it equated to about 310 books or something like that and then it made me really really want to read again because i'm like i know i've read more than this i know i can read more than this um so i decided to try that um, i'm starting to buy books again but it's going to take a while to get my books in order um so right now so i used to have like over 300 books and now i have four <laughs> and three of them are a set it's the um to all the boys i've loved before i got it as a christmas gift last year um and then we i ended up moving so i finally got a drown of reading it a couple weeks ago um, it made me really really want to try again so um soon um this bed slash couch will be gone and I'll trade it into a bookshelf and then I have an armchair right there and then I can start reading full time so that'll be really really fun. I'm hoping to get to know other book people and then one of the things that made me start reading again was that I was on TikTok because everyone is during quarantine and somebody had rec recommended Crave because they were like well if you like you know if you like Twilight then you'll like Crave and I was like kind of whatever switched to the next video ended up watching a whole bunch of cats and um and then when i was at target it was like 30 percent off and i was like i think it's a sign and then I, that's when i got the ball rolling there i'm really excited because in the few in the years in the seven or eight years or whatever it was that i stopped reading um apparently young adult has really really gotten really huge i remember at barnes and nobles it used to be like one bookshelf and it was like shared right next to the children's book i spent a lot of time in the children areas um when i was at barnes and nobles and so um now it's like three rows same with anime but i don't really read anime um and so um, there's a lot of books that a lot of people are recommending that I'm really, really excited to read because, you know, I see those videos, those clips where they're like, books I wish I could read for the first time again. And I was like, well, I've never read them before, so let's see how it goes. Um, and then I won't have to wait. I remember re when I got Harry Potter, um, I, I had actually got Harry Potter back in 1999 and I had to wait every time that she came out with a new book. Um, but I won't have to do that with, for example, like... I think I believe there's one called like a Clockwork Princess or like a Court of Third and Roses, and um, there's already a huge like the, the series, you know. So I can buy the box set, um, and then uh, and then I can read it all in one night. Well, I, I'll try not to do that, but I always end up doing that, and then I always end up regretting it later. I mean, I can't stop. I have to start. I have to finish, but still good.